Hi, this is Maji Noni, and here's my review for uh, Fear Itself Book 3. Thunderbolts 158 and Herc number 4. These are all Fear Itself tie ins. I'm going to do Herc first because uh, I want to just get this one over with. You know, I, I read this thing and I don't, I, I think the quality has significantly dropped in this story. Uh, the first issue was really good. I really enjoyed it, and then it, it I think it, it just kind of fell into a mess. Uh, I think the art's fine, but it's the spirit itself combined with these two different gods, and it's like it's. I guess what you can say is, this is why I look at it. Just imagine you have eggs, and you have um, rocks, and you have like. Um, Oh, I don't know. It's a jelly beans, and you put them in a container and you shake it up, and then you try to eat it. That's what it tastes like. It, it, it's just, it's just not a good book right now, and I, I'm definitely going to stop it. I'm not going to get an issue number four. Um, basically, all that's really going on is the fear is spreading. Uh, people are turning against Hercules. They're um, there's lots of violence going on. You have uh, the villains, you know, Man Bull and uh, Basilisk, they ran away. Griffin reverted to um, animal intelligence and is actually helping Hercules. And um, it's just a mess. You have, there. there's one scene where there's like a grandma laying in, the, in a backyard with dogs and the dogs mold her stomach open. So there's some, I mean, there's some little gore in it, but as a whole, it's just, it's just not good. And which is a shame because Her Hercules really uh, had some strong stories and this just isn't uh, living up to it. And anyway, next up is Thunderbolts 158. Awesome issue. Thunderbolts is one of the most underrated Marvel titles that are, that they have. And it's a shame because I, I really do wish more people would read Thunderbolts. It's it's just, it's one of the titles I look forward to every single month. And it was really weird for me is even though I look forward to it, I am afraid that the next issue is going to suck. But every issue, it's it's solid entertainment. Now I love this cover here, of you know the Juggernaut with um, some of the Thunderbolt teams. The only thing that sucks about this cover is this fear itself header. Now I understand that this header has to be there, but this piece here should be bigger. You know, I want to see more sky, and it's a. I love the cover. Um, anyways, basically what's going on? You have the, the new backup Thunderbolt team uh, fighting zombies, and these aren't your. I mean, they're zombies, but they're, they're not t your typical zombie that you would expect. While that's going on, you have um, Juggernaut getting his hammer, laying waste to the raft. Um, all the Thunderbolts have to come back. Um, and, and then basically um, recapture all the villains that are still at the raft. I'll, they do show a bunch of villains leaving, though. And um, overall, solid. This is it's a solid read, and um, if you're not reading Thunderbolts, you should be. Uh, you know, put down, just put down one crossover, one tie-in, and then just start buying Thunderbolts. I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, last up is Fear Itself Book Three. This was a, this was an amazing issue. Fear Itself is just building and building and building, and it's so good. Uh, Fraction's doing a great job. Eberman's doing a great job. And this is it, this is just really good. Um, I think the art is fantastic. I love the scenes of you know like you know the, the battle scenes are just I don't know it, there's just something about the the way the drawings are done and the the way expressions on the faces the chaos that's going on the fire and the smoke it really has the sense of like the world is coming to an end. And they're doing a great job. I, the Sanji picture here is kind of dorky looking. But, um, I mean, because really think about it, who can't dodge when he's 
jumping that far. But uh, other than that, like this is a another fantastic panel where the Red Skull is smashing down on Bucky Shield, and um, they basically what the story is doing is it's going getting snippets from all the what's going on. You have the Red Skull, you have Thor, you have the Absorbing Man, you have the Hulk, and you also now have. Thor. I'm sorry, not Thor. The Hulk from the Thing getting his hammer, and I thought this was another just phenomenal piece of art right here. Uh, the way the Thing just screams out "Die!" and then just destroys. Um, it. This is by far. I, I think this is leaving up to the hype that it's that they claim that this is going to be a great story. Um, of course, we still have four issues to go. And you know I'm I'm so afraid of the um, the Marvel and DC jinx for mega events where it builds 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 and then it reaches the point where they have to end it and they end it too quickly and it sucks. So that I'm I'm deeply terrified to see what's going to happen. Um, the only other thing that's really going on is Steve Rogers is going into the mix, Thor is getting into the mix, and there is a shocker ending. And I don't know how this is going to work with. Um, the comic that this character is in, I'm not going to spoil it since the book just came out, but there is an apparent death at the end of this issue. Uh, I don't know if this character is going to die actually or not, because it's, like I said, this character is still in another comic right now, and that storyline obviously is not even taking place at, during this time period. I don't even know if it's before or after. My guess is it's before period, so, but uh, I'm really curious to see if they're going to if the death is going to hold. Because if this death holds, every issue that comes out for that one-ish comic, it's, it's who cares, it's null and void, because we know what's going to happen um, once it gets to this part. Uh, anyways, I, I think two out of three is, is, is a good batting average, you know, for uh, these issues. And um, I'm really, really looking forward to book four. Uh, especially once certain people find out that this character uh, might be dead. Um, anyways, um, I'll have more reviews up later, so um, rate the video up or down, let me know what you think. Um, now, without saying who the character is in the comments, I'm curious to know if you guys think, uh, is he alive? Is he dead? Um, so, and I'll have more reviews up later, so until next time.